Hi kids, welcome back to another story with Dixie and Dixie Storytime World. Class 2 at the zoo. On the day Class 2 went to the zoo, they saw a koala kissing a kangaroo. They saw a giraffe having a laugh. They didn't see the anaconda. They heard teachers say, we must keep together. Don't wander off and watch the weather. They saw parrots squabbling in the sky, but they didn't see the anaconda sigh and open one eye to spy on class two as they walked round the zoo. They saw hippos hopping in the mud. They saw monkeys eating chocolate pud, but they didn't see the anaconda ponder. Then slide from the water and start to wander. After class two, on their trip round the zoo, some of them walking two by two. They saw spotty cheetahs running a mile. They saw two gorillas jumping a stile. But they failed to see that huge reptile. Open his jaws and swallow Kyle. They didn't see that giant snake make a meal of James and Jake. They didn't see that twisty beast add Diana to his feast. They didn't see that greedy eater gulp down Gertie and Anita. And it was creeping up on Class 2's teacher when Molly turned and saw the creature. Look out, she cried, alas, too late. Teacher was gone and so was Kate. Well, most of Kate, so Molly was quick. She grabbed hold of a sturdy stick. Without a single moment's pause, she stuck it between the monster's jaws. Come on, she urged the rest of class two as she grabbed Kate's feet to the rescue. The rest of class two all heaved and tugged till Kate popped out like a rubber plug. Then out came teacher and Gertie, and Anita, and Diana, and Jake, and James, and Kyle, his smile as wide as a crocodile. Then a boy they didn't know. Thank you, he said. My name is Joe. Phew, said class two, as they fled from the zoo. Let this be a terrible warning for you. When you go on a safari, or visit a zoo, keep your eyes open wide, whatever you do. Watch out for the snake lying low in the lake. And if you see the anaconda, open an eye and start to wonder. Don't even for a second ponder. Just run! The end.